Hello and welcome to Quality Professional Consulting uh, YouTube channel. In this particular video, uh, we're going to talk about risk management in ISO 9001-2015. My name is Ben Tomic. I'm Quality Management System Consultant. Let's start. Even though that there is no specific requirement in ISO 9001-2015 standard to use formal risk management in determining and addressing risk and opportunities, it is much more effective to use any of available risk management techniques for this purpose. The most common tool that organizations uh, out there use uh, to manage risk is risk register. Risk register is basically a repository for all risks identified and includes additional information about each individual risk. The three important area that risk register must cover are risk identification, risk assessment and risk management. Risk register looks something like this, could uh, take different uh, form, uh, but uh, pretty much these three areas that we have to address, risk identification, risk assessment and risk management are present in this particular form. Basically, in risk identification, we have to uh, identify the area uh, where we um, um, discover potential risk, uh, describe the risk, and eventually uh, put the date when the, that, uh, of that discovery. That would be the risk identification process. In risk assessment process, we have to uh, assess the potential impact or the effect of risk or likelihood or probability that that uh, risk could occur uh, and based on that um, uh, perform or not to perform determine the level of risk and that will tell us should we take any further action or manage risk or not. That depends of the organization uh, and the, the level that they're going to assign as a critical to perform the risk management. Of course, in the risk management uh, area or process, we should assign responsibility, uh, who is gonna manage particular risk, what would be the action plan, uh, uh, the date that the action or actions would be completed, and then we should review the new risk level and make a decision about uh, the, the, the particular risk. Okay, so risk is the effect of uncertainty. We already mentioned this. And uh, basically risk uh, uh, implies uh, uncertainty in a positive and negative um, uh, aspects. It means uh, we should assess the uh, opportunities as a positive aspects of risk and threats as a negative aspects of risk. Basically, we also said there are strategic risk management, tactical risk management, and operational risk management. Three different levels on which organizations should consider potential risks. Risk identification uh, could be done through different uh, uh, tools and techniques like a SWOT analysis, strengths, weaknesses, opportunities, and threats, uh, uh, process audits, uh, contract reviews, quotation process, and many others. Risk assessment is usually done as a product. Risk, the level of risk, is the product of impact and likelihood. Uh, basically, uh, that product will tell us the level of the risk. So basically, we could assign for the impact, um, let's say low, medium, and high, um, and assign each of these um, certain uh, quantitative uh, values like a one for low, two for medium or three for high and same for likelihood we could do the same low uh, one, medium two or high three or we can even expand this and say uh, for impact we could have very low one, low two, 
medium 3, uh, um, um, high 4, and very high 5. And same for likelihood, we could uh, ha have a very low uh, 1, low 2, medium 3, uh, high uh, 4, and very high 5. So we could have 25 possible combinations comparing to uh, the uh, present slide where we could have only 9 possible combinations. So up to certain level, organization has to determine from which number they should uh, manage the risk. If the risk, uh, the, the level of the risk ex exceeds or equals to a certain number, organization uh, must take some actions uh, in regards to the risk. So basically, the risk management related to threats, so the negative aspects of risk, uh, for example, if we determine that the, uh, uh, the level of the risk could be uh, high, medium, or low, and depends on the uh, organizational uh, procedure that will tell us what to do, then we could uh, determine the, the risk level and basically uh, the, uh, uh, determine the level of risk that we need um, uh, to address in risk management. Uh, of course, once we the, uh, uh, take connections and the, uh, 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 do something about that risk, we could uh, we got certain options available what to do with, uh, with, with, uh, with the uh, new risk level. Uh, so we could uh, we can avoid, we could uh, completely uh, stop uh, uh, doing something because it's too risky. We could mitigate, minimize the effect or, or the likelihood of the, the risk. We could transfer the risk, uh, buying insurance or asking uh, uh, somebody to participate to help us with that. We could accept if we cannot do anything of these, and, but we're still willing to, to risk. We could accept it or escalate if we don't have resources to deal with this risk. We have to escalate it to the higher level of management or uh, ask for additional resources to, uh, uh, to do something with the risk. Also, uh, when it comes to the opportunities, to the positive aspects of, of the risk, we should also uh, uh, explore that as well. So uh, we, we, we could uh, uh, use the same, same methodology, impact uh, times likelihood, so the effect times the uh, probability, and determine is it a low, medium or high uh, level, and based on that, uh, take some actions and review uh, the 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 uh, risk level after that and make certain decisions and decisions in regard to the opportunities could be to exploit so use the opportunity enhance maybe invest more and and gain more afterwards uh, share it if we uh, want to share it with somebody uh, accept if we cannot do anything and this is what it is and we we, we are willing to to to, to get the gains from the existing situation or escalate if we don't have enough resources to, uh, uh, to, to um, uh, use the uh, potential opportunity that we see but we may not need the new technology, new software or maybe some other resources that we need in order to, to get the gains that we see as an opportunity. Uh, that would be pretty much everything for this uh, video. Thank you for watching it. If you want to stay uh, tuned about this particular uh, subject matter, please do not forget to subscribe to our channel. Uh, thank you for watching this video one more time.